This is a 2019 Mustang Bullet. And if you guys remember the Bullet, it was the special Mustang before the Mustang Mach 1 came out. And today, I'm gonna to be bringing you a review about why you should buy this one over a current Mustang. Now let's talk about the engine first because this is important and it's the biggest change on the Bullet. This is a five liter V8, the same one in every single Mustang out there, and it makes 480 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. That's 30 more horsepower than a current Mustang makes, and it is 20 more than the old 2022 Mustang used to make, and it is also 10 horsepower more than a Mach 1, except you won't be spending 50 or $60,000 on a new Mustang. You'll be spending about 43, which is what this one costs, to get more horsepower than any of the other ones. This has also made it to a six-speed manual transmission, which was the only option for the Mustang Bullet, and I gotta tell you, that 480 horsepower feels great. Now on the outside of the Mustang Bullet, the first thing you're going to notice is that up front, there is no Mustang badge on the front of the car. In fact, it's just a plain grill, but you do on the Mustang Bullet get the chrome inlays on the grill and around the window trim, which no matter what color you get, that's what you're going to be getting. No matter if you get the shadow black color, which is this one, or the green color, which is the only other color option you can get. Now when it comes to the side of the car right here with these rims, these are the only rims you can get as well. These are the 19 inch heritage rims that you can get on the Bullet. They look nice and they pay homage to the Bullet from 1968, if you've ever seen that Steve McQueen movie. This Mustang Bullet has the regular brakes on it, which means up front you get 13.9 inch vented rotors with these four piston calipers. And in the back you get 12.6 inch rotors with a one piston caliper. Now, if you get the performance package, both of these are going to be 15 inch rotors that are both vented and you're gonna get six piston calipers up front. Now let's talk about the back of the Bullet. Not many changes back here other than you get, instead of a Mustang badge, you get the Bullet badge back here, which is pretty nice looking make sure everybody behind you can see what kind of car you're driving. You don't get any special spoiler or anything like that. It's very plain back here except for that badge. And of course, everyone likes the sound of the exhaust from that Coyote V8. So let's hear it. Now on the inside of the Mustang Bullet, not much has changed, but there are key indicators to make sure you know that you are driving one. First and most noticeable is going to be the Bullet logo on the steering wheel. Instead of getting the Mustang horse, you're going to get the Bullet with the little crosshair. Another thing in this interior is actually going to be on the dashboard on the passenger side, where instead of getting the Mustang badge on the dashboard, you're gonna get a little Bullet badge with the chassis number of this car. As you'll notice, I'm also sitting in some Recaro bucket seats. You can get these on every Mustang, but it is important to mention you will still be able to get them on the bullet and I'm sitting in them right now if you get these you won't get heated or cooled seats but they are still comfortable and they hold you in place really well if you also get the bullet you will get the greens Recaro stitching instead of the white ones do remember that you can only get the bullet in a six-speed manual like I mentioned earlier and instead of getting the normal shift knob with chrome on it and leather you will be getting one that it looks like a cue ball and it is pretty nice to hold on to you know any of you out there love grabbing sticks. And in like every other Mustang, you get steering and different drive modes as well. Right here, you can change your steering modes between sport, regular, track, and comfort. And over here, you can change your modes. There's a sport, sport plus, there's going to be a track, a drag strip mode, and a regular mode, which is all done by flipping these switches down here. But that's just about it for all the changes on the inside of the Bullet. Nice place to be, as always, the Mustang is a very comfortable and technologically inclined interior, so no problems with that. So driving the Mustang Bullet drives like every other Mustang out there. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, the extra 30 horsepower that you would get over a current one is nice, but that doesn't mean it drives any quicker. In fact, because this doesn't have the 10 speed auto, it pulls a 4.6 zero to 60 and typically they get with the 10 speed around four. Um, so it is a little bit slower. It'll do the quarter mile in about 12.9 seconds at 112 miles an hour, which is still fairly good. Um, and because it is a Mustang, it still has generally good acceleration. And it gets up there pretty quick. If you do find interest in this, this does have automatic rev matching. For newer manual drivers, they'll like that because, you know, not everyone is terrific at it. And if you're not terrific at it, you don't want to destroy your clutch. So. That is nice. If you get any Mustang after 2018, you're going to get that automatic rev matching, but it is important to mention that this one also has that, but nothing special has been done to the transmission. 
to make it any better. It's not like it's any different than what you're gonna find in any other Mustang of that time. Of course, you have all the drive modes that make it really fun to drive. And yeah, if you're looking for a faster experience um, and to get that little bit more performance out of it, you're gonna want something like a newer Mustang with the 10-speed auto. That way you can get every tenth of a second out of it. But if you're looking for a fun driving experience, the Mustang Bullet is a great place to start. And that is the Mustang Bullet. It is a great rendition of the Mustang. And I love everything it stands for. I love the styling, especially with the black color, kind of gives you Batmobile vibes. So if you're looking for a special version of the Mustang that's not gonna run your bank account dry, this one is pretty good, and I think I'd rather have it over a Mach 1, to be honest with you, other than the Mach 1 is a little more aggressive looking than this one is, but this still is not bad, and I do love the look of it, like I said, and the powertrain, of course, has always been great. So, if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button down below, and if you want to see more from us, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.